Ah, it is Zyran again. The guy that l keeps loving to play against me. All right. We're up against Bravo. We'll bring in our D-Reacts. We'll bring in our Punctures. I mean, frankly, a lot of our deck is actually quite good against him. The, the issue is that running 69 cards here, we're very unlikely to see our d -Rex. We might have too much. Uh, let's let's go let's go lighter on the attack reactions here. Um, we'll hold off on the third response here. We'll just we'll just we'll just bring in our large attack reactions and our D-Rex and our punctures. So we'll leave the commanding perform. This is a card like I'm I'm finding like kind of, it's a little awkward to to get value from. All right. Um, all right. So this is the modern style of Bravo with the uh, tunic and the extra armor from the shield. So we got what? Three armor here, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. All right. So we got 52 health. We're going to have to get through this game. Uh, I think we should just arsenal this and move on. Don't give him a chance to. Uh, to filter. Tear asunder into that. Okay. We can give the card plus uh hmm. This sink blow might save our hand because it's pretty bad. <laughs> so I'm more tempted to do that. Yeah. All right, which is the, I guess we'll sync the precision press. Yeah. Okay, this hand is now functional. This is a very, very important attack. This is a hit and run into a poke. This tells me a lot about how this guy likes to play the game. The speed at which he makes his decision here and what he decides here tells me everything I need to know going forward here. Okay, so. We'll play this out. Obviously get more information here. He probably has a D-React, but it's very important to see how he plays this situation. Okay, that's fine. That came from hand. Okay, sure. Your turn. All right, this hand is awful. Jesus. All right, so we can block, block, and we can pitch supremacy. Uh, this still could be a D react here. Is there an upside to trying dual wield swords as a pure dual wield build as opposed to the hybrid? Uh, I haven't seen a pure dual wield swords Dory build. Um, I presume you don't gain that much from that. Um, I'm on 3 CNC, 3 performance main, just threat and arsenal. Uh, thanks for streaming, Josh. I need to unwind. You're welcome. When do we get more streams from you? Yeah, that's a good question. All right, opponent block with CNC there. Okay, this is annoying, but it doesn't have dominate, so we shouldn't give our armor here. Um, so I'm thinking just blocking. I really want to blow up his arsenal, to be honest. <laughs> I have a feeling this is a D-React. Okay, so 
I mean, we might just block with two cards and this. Let's see. We block with this. We still have to block with this and this, and then we can pit. Pull. Uh, do we give armor here to maintain this? Uh, that's real tough. I think we can. I think it's okay. All right. Let, let's see if we're right here. What do you think, chat? You think this is going to blow up a D React in Arsenal? It did. It got the best one. <laughs> Too predictable, Mr. Bravo. Too predictable. All right, so this game already is going to be hard. Uh, he's running staunch and fate. So that means we have sync fate staunch to get through, which is going to be... Uh, let's just say a lot of Bravos these days are running 60 Rex, not 9. So. Alright, he didn't want to give us armor here, which means we're going to get a Vigor token, which is nice. Disable here. Basically forcing me to give a card. Let's see. Could block two cards here, or even three cards, and deploy the Potion. Uh, let's see. We have a Vigor token. That's not helpful. Hmm. Do we just play this fate? And then, let's see. Let me think about this one. Uh... Because this yellow overpower makes me want to make a move here. One, four, five, six. So we have enough if we keep everything. All right, so we do need to fate this, and then we can actually play this whole hand. It's not the best hand to really go for it, though. But it's likely to hit. That's the thing. It's likely to get armor as well, but it has piercing, which is going to be really weird for him. I don't love keeping this hand. I really don't love it, but I think it's just barely good enough. And I don't see a way to get value out of this. All right, so we got to think about our next turn here. We're not going to get an arsenal. We're going to have a Dawnblade counter. So I think we run a pump to ensure it stays. So we, let's put this to the bottom. All right, so precision press here, swing. Pitching the determination, because if he overblocks, we can at least play the E-pot out. It also makes it look like we are starved for resources here, so overpower is less likely. Okay, interesting. Okay, so that this tells me again how he likes to play. When he doesn't have a D-react, he likes to overblock by three, which is what most Bravos do. All right, let's get through this the other option there was to um okay well he just happened to have the direct the other option there was to have the uh just play the e-pot out and arsenal the overpower which i think would be decent all right sink fate and staunch oh man this is this is the uh this is gonna take a while to get this guy all right, this hand is great, so we're going to keep it. Um, this is a hand that's going to get armor here. 
very likely blocks the civic steps next turn. He actually could block with this. Let's see here. We we're coming in for six. This only pumps it to seven. So. So if he blocks like this and a card from hand, we're actually screwed. Okay, so we should probably block here and just. Come in for five is he yeah i th think we should just give less information here we're gonna probably arsenal the determination here so we shouldn't actually I, my initial thought was to play both of these but it just gives him a too easy block here this plus this plus a card plays around blade flurry and he hasn't seen one so we're just going to go Valor Swing here. Because there's no clean block now. Like if he gives us a card plus the gauntlets, Blade Flare gets over it. I really, really, really hate that LSS printed this card, to be honest. Like, the downside is not large enough for good players. Like, <clears throat> this kind of reminds me of Stalagmite. Like, it's just so powerful in the hands of a high-level player. All right, let's Blade Flurry here. Get another direct if he has one. Looks like he didn't. We're not going to pay for Vigor. We're going to swing. Okay, this is probably not a D-React based on how we played last turn. Could be a staunch response. Let's see. Let's try to think logically here. Could be a staunch. Could be a staunch. Because he didn't hammer us. You guys think I should fire this off? <laughs> hmm. This hand also is can just plow through. Because we have the payment for this. So let's let's just play the determination and swing here. It's probably a no block from him. It's fine. I think we just play the overpower and arsenal the singing. Do we boots here? I think we don't. We 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 really want to save them for our supremacy turn. Okay, this is not staunch. Oh, we drew four reds. That's so bad. And he's coming in with dominate. Uh oh. That's ah, real bad. Real bad to draw this hand at this time. It's awful, actually. So assuming this is Pummel, we're going to lose a card, and then we could... Yeah, we could still have a turn. Yeah, we really need to maintain our armor. Yeah. Hmm. So we have a vigor token, so we this plus 
the bigger token can pay yeah so at least we can get six damage in okay that's not pomo hmm. interesting okay that changes things sort of Not really, actually. Okay, we have a very powerful turn. Or we can Grains here. Hmm. I feel like Grainsing is better. I love you, Supremacy, but we'll keep you for second cycle. We might not get to second cycle, to be honest. Yeah, let's just use our hand efficiently. Another four red card hand? Really? <laughs> Alright, we're going to have to sink our Valor away. Oh, it so feels so bad. We have to do it like right now so we can have the information on whether we keep our hand or not. We have a bigger token, so to play all this, we need one, two, three, four. And then this could be a D react. One, two. Like he's only he's only had three D reacts this whole game. Ugh. Am I just supposed to be disciplined and block this turn? Putting a second supremacy to the bottom is good. feels so bad. Ugh. No block could be possible here. I, I want to sink this valor like it now. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, pummel from Arsenal. So he did have it. I. This is one of the issues about streaming. Is like. Playing on Talishar, having to look at chat and everything. I forgot that this was Pummel. IRL, I would not have forgotten that was Pummel. Or that he was representing that last turn. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so he's going to put a D-React into Arsenal, probably. Okay, so we're going to lose a card here. So I think it's fine. We could just sink, try to sink one of these away. I guess Valor is now stronger than... Uh, No, Puncture's still stronger here. I guess Valor's stronger if he does, if he wants to keep his hand. All right, let's sink this. I don't know. Let's sink the Supremacy. Okay, we're going to lose a card here. Okay. All right, so we still have something here. So do we try to protect our life total a little bit or do we just try to get six damage in here? Not thrilled that we've only seen three DREX here. We're kind of giving him an opportunity to play it next turn if we, I guess, I guess let's just keep, keep our two cards here. It's a blue on his hand. Should be. All right. Swing Dawn Blade pitch. Oh, we actually have a vigor. I forgot about it. Okay, actually, we can make something happen with this turn. <laughs> okay, at least at least we're gonna get a vigor token back. So sure. Oh, he's thinking about giving me a reprise. You gonna block with your sinker fate or oasis? Jesus. Okay, second staunch here. That's fine. <laughs> All right, this hand would be better if this was a red valor, but at least this gives go again. Um, 
That's very weird. Why did he tunic? I guess he only had one blue. Yeah, he probably only had one blue here. So this is something fairly important moving into Arsenal. Should we... Should we just... Uh, do we have a... We don't have a bigger token. Hmm. We might just need to uh, rely on... We might have to break our bolters next turn, even though I'm not thrilled about it. Really not thrilled about it. This guy's been conserving his armor really well. Boots might not even be the play here. I think we grab Glint here. Do we grab Glint or do we grab Shift in the Tide of Battle? We don't need the extra card from Glint. It's possible we, we draw Iron Song response though, which would be nice. Or Blade Flurry. Okay, so I guess I guess we'll go singing into into Glint here, see what we draw. Ooh, I forgot we had this in the deck list. <laughs> All right. Do we pride now? Probably not. Do we response now? Hmm. If we had one extra energy, we could actually play around to de-react, but we don't. Either way, I think we just have to pass here and then get reprised in the next attack. There's Fate. Oh, I hate Guardians so much. They have so much armor and then they have a lot of DBX. Tough, 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 tough. All right. Yeah, I really wish we had one more energy here. Actually, hold on. We do. Hold on. We ha okay, we just can't swing again, but I mean, we could break through and get a counter. I guess it's worth it. Sure. I guess I guess we'll take it. <laughs> All right, this hand is pretty good. Ooh, unfortunately, this hand gets blown out because we don't have reprise. Ooh, he can deny reprise very easily. I think we just have to play for a little longer game here. See, this is this is why you keep your armor as long as possible. Like this hand is not functional because he has six armor just sitting here. This is why the pre-combat pumps are really important. Um. Oh, man. I guess we could glint into something. We might just fate for scene and try to opt something to the top or bottom and glint it. It's, that doesn't feel like a winning play, but we're behind here. Do we fate for scene, try to opt something nice for it? Like, he can deny the reprise. Never mind. What am I talking about? I should have blocked. We're we're ne this guy's good and good enough that we're never gonna get reprise here, on our next turn. Um, let's see. Let, let's give our opponent the opportunity to make a mistake. Let's see if he makes a mistake. I'm calling it right now. He's gonna block with his armor. And not give us reprise.
Oh, if he gives us reprise, this is this is gonna fall apart for him. Oh. All right. Blocking three over. Okay. Jesus. All right. Well, we're gonna have to go fishing for our twinning blade. Twinning blade. Nope. No twinning blade. All right. One of the one of the other issues with this list being so straightforward is that he knows that he can block at plus three, and there's no like CNC or nourishing to follow up in general. Okay, so we'll end our turn. Arsel this, <clears throat> and this turn this this hand's so good. Holy shit! <laughs> oh, unfortunate that this. Well, uh, I guess we have to give up. So Arbor plus, uh, yeah. Should I give up the Valor or the Supremacy here? We already have an Arsenal, so I, let's just do this. Oh, this could be Pummel here. <laughs> this would be real bad if it's Pummel. Uh-oh, it is Pummel. Oh, I hate Guardian so much, guys. <laughs> All right, we're going to lose our Valor here. Right, swing, pitch. This is this is a matchup that I think this is kind of the reason why you want to bring dual wielding against a Guardian. You could bring the Axe as well, but I think... Think Dawnblade into a skilled opponent that's running 9D Reacts and this much armor is a real, real, real headache. Like, the way that Guardian fundamentally plays, like, it's, it's difficult. Uh, I think we're just going to Arsenal here. We have a little bit of a wiggle room here. <clears throat> Life is getting real low, though. Okay. Uh, debilitate. Okay, so we have to block this a little bit here. He said he got greedy here. Hmm. Well, this hand is very good. But I need to be able to... Well... Hmm. Well, we have to block with this. Now, what card do we block with is a question. It's either the blur, Blade Flurry or the Determination. I'm not sure which one. Hmm. I think the determination is more valuable, so. All right, we'll block like this. We'll play out these and see what we can do. <clears throat> Iron Song Supremacy go burr. In Blitz it would. And here I'm very scared that this is a D-React and I get no reprise. Okay, that came from hand, thank God. This this card, this piece of armor plus this piece of armor makes me really, really want to go dual wield. <laughs> because this these two things are super annoying for Dawnblade. <clears throat> Alright, we can brace or swing. Mm. 
the way this list is built also not having tunic shunt uh we saw him make several plays with with pummel that he basically can't do against uh against that uh do we want to destroy bolters no okay we can arsenal this still one sink one fate in the wild here This also could be Pummel here, but we don't play around it. Um, we don't need this. So, yep, if he has Pummel, he has Pummel. If he does not, we live. Uh, Valor. Swing. At least we're going to be able to get a big attack reaction here. We still have red overpower in our deck, right? So. We may not actually grab red overpower here. We could grab fatal engagement here, would be fine. No, that's not what I wanted. Um. Do we even have that? Oh, uh, we have red over power, but we don't have enough resources to play it. We have agile engagement, which is okay, but it gets blown out by a lot of things. So this is where Tunic would have been much, much better here. Like having one extra resource mattered several times during this game. Hmm. I think we just have to go for the agile engagement here. It's not the best, but this gets mega blown out by a D-React, but I guess we could go, hold on. We could go singing into agile engagement, right? How many resources do I have? I can't see it. I have zero floating, I think. So I could go singing into Agile and then swing. If I think he has, because he blocked even, which means he has a direct. So we'll grab singing and we'll play singing. This is a technique that is almost never used, but we had to use it here. So we're over by a little bit here. So he has to give up his D-React here or his Tunic plus a card. Looks like Tunic plus a card. Hmm. Or two cards. Okay, sure. Oh, baby. We've got Agility and a Twinning Blade. Oh, ho, ho. all right. That's a good draw. All right, so we know he has a D react. So, do we force it out with this? We force out the D react here and then twinning swing. We have no resources, but we'll draw. Then we can bolt or swing. I think we have to force it out right now, right? Because there's a small chance he doesn't have it, but I think the arsenal's a, a D react. So I think we play the. Hmm. Yeah, we play it here. Okay. And 
pass party. Player direct. Yep, that's fine. Okay, so that is three sinks, two fates. That's this is making me very nervous. That came from hand, not from arsenal. Okay, so we'll twin here. And then swing again here. So does he have the D-React in Arsenal? If he does, we're probably going to lose the game. Oh, shit. He doesn't have... He, <laughs> he doesn't... <laughs> he, even if it was... He, Oh, if it, if it if this was a D-React, he actually has the exact block, but he doesn't. I mean, he has the D-React because he's passing priority at eight life against eight. This is why you save your boots, boys. That was from hand as well. Is this also a D-React? No, it can't be, right? Okay, destroy bolters, yes. And bracers swing for a lot. Are you dead? Oh, baby, we got there. Woo! <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> that was a game, boys. Jesus. That was difficult AF. Oh, my God. He played really well. So he conserved his armor, played his D-Reacts properly. He had access to Sync, Fate, and Staunch, which is hard. We blew up one of them with Emboldened Blade. We got pummeled several times. We didn't have access to Crown of Providence. In the end, we had to go for a triple hit there. Oh, boy. <laughs> we were down, like... 15 life at one point, I think. <laughs> Jeez.